UCAR Connect is a, a new website here. The title of my talk is Bit by Bit. And when we talk about bits, I don't mean the horse bit, I mean the computer bit. So I'd like to start us out with just some warm-ups for bits. So, so here's some trivia that's gonna come up. Once upon a time, the bit, the smallest unit of digital information was officially named, but when? What do you think, A, B, or C? That's a young group. A, 1948. The person who officially coined the term bit worked at Bell Labs. Who then? A, B, or C? <laughs> we need to know these things. C, Sean, or Claude Shannon. Well, years later, here you all sit. But I think you all know the world changed just a bit with the bit. And Moore's Law and models and open source code parallel processors sharing large loads. We have Airbnb, Google, and Uber, who make oodles and oodles. We have SISM, Wharf, visualizations galore, models showing warming, the whole atmosphere, and more. We have so much knowledge and change that we see, so much growing exponentially, and in an age of hyperconnectivity, we have to ask, what are our needs? Well, UCAR Connect um, is meant to address those needs. It's a site that's intended to bring us together for sharing our information in one place. So we're a big organization with lots of university members. We're organized by divisions, but divisions naturally divide. And UCAR Connect is intended to bring our educational resources together um, in one place. Uh, they still live on your site, but UCAR Connect gathers them and shares them. It began with UCAR Live, which some of you hopefully have experienced. It puts our talks um, online for people. And in fact, you can wave to the camera because it's broadcasting right now on UCAR Live. So check that out. We also have a digital learning resource catalog that uses the technology that was developed by Digital Learning Sciences here at UCAR. Um, all of you can catalog your resources there. They're organized by audience type or topic. You can catalog them directly into the catalog. You can crosswalk databases into the catalog, or you can use the Drupal modules that Sharon back there has created for those of us here at UCAR. The site also has regular features. Um, they, we have scientist profiles. We have lots of information about careers, multimedia. We have videos, and we have information for your students, particularly about the field. So why UCAR Connect? Well, it all goes back to that bit. Information we know is just growing exponentially, but we really are in the knowledge age, and that is what's driving our economy today. So communication's changing as well. We've gone from one to many to many to many now, and that pre presents opportunities. Communication is certainly more open, less top-down, more democratic, and also more personalized. And we really know a great deal, this group, about information. We create a great deal of it. We store a lot of it. We really are a learning community. And UCAR Connect is intended to, to emphasize that, especially to those on the outside looking inward. These are some of the tools that we could provide. Some of these are already on the site. But these are some of the things and the opportunities that we have um, to gather our resources together uh, as well. So I do have a task for you. I want you to count the red dots or the red squares and let me know how many. Okay, so now I have a question for you. How many were blue? Right? So my point here is that our focus matters. And our website is very much designed for dis 
divisions, but we also have a great deal of wonderful content that the outside world really wants to know about. So UCAR Connect is to, intended to gather that information and provide it, get them to your website, but you know it's an avenue to that information. So take a look at what's in your buckets that you'd like to share, especially your educational resources. Think about webinars that we might be able to provide. Um, there's lots that we can do in this time of growing information to highlight our stuff. I ask you to visit the site, to join us on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, and I'd like to thank all the people throughout the organization that have helped to make UCAR Connect um, exist. We'll get there bit by bit. Thank you.